Children from the age of three to eight, again, they're able to grieve. We, we, we should not underestimate the fact that they observe our environment and they get to realize that there is a problem. So th they are able to grieve in a way, in a, in a sense that uh, there's a shift again in their normal routine, shift in their feeding time, shift in their sleeping pattern, shift again in their play activity. And probably if they're already enrolled for school, they, there's a problem with their learning abilities and they're easily irritable and very aggressive. All these behaviors is a way of just acting out the emotions that they're dealing with at that time. So their concept of death is not well developed, but they're able to, uh, to understand death in the sense that uh, it's in a form of separation, that I was used to seeing this person around, this child around, and right now they are no more. So to them, they understand maybe the baby has slept or maybe the baby has gone to you know, a different world and they will be back. So they have a temporal understanding of death, which is quite uh, reversible according to them, which can be changed according to them. So again, being consistent to monitor the shift in their behavior, the shift in their emotional changes, and again, communicating to them, working with them through the grieving experiences, because they, they have the right to know that baby died. They have the right to know that I, we lost the pregnancy. And being able to just explain to them in simple and very genuine terms of what death means and what death looks like and moving forward, what are the plans and how are we going to support each other and that it is okay to be sad, it's okay to talk about their emotions. So journeying with them in that experience because they are able to observe and they are able to pick because if they do not get that assurance at this stage, they will repress those um, grief emotions and these emotions again will come in future in different ways. They can be acting acting out maybe in the academic performance, they struggle with schooling, they struggle with relationships, they struggle when it comes to, you know, connecting with the people in the outside. So again, be consistent with their schedule, monitor and be able to work with these kids as they process grief.